Hello everybody, welcome back to a little bit more Kingdom Come, where we're going to show you how to get incredibly rich again, but I guess some legal way of doing it, and also we're just going to overflow ourselves with items so we can so we can acquire as much drip as possible. Everybody already knows about the good old scallops technique. There's um, there's a bunch of fights in here that happen all the time. They like, usually got bandits versus guards, humans versus guards, humans versus bandits, uh, bandits versus bandits. Anyways, fantastic loot. All you need to do is you ride out here, you ride back into town, and they'll spawn typically, and then all you gotta do is just pick up the pieces. It's fantastic. The biggest issue with this though is that Scalitz is quite a far ways away from any town to sell stuff to. You typically have to drag everything out to Townburg, which is quite a ways away. I'm going to show you another alternative today about out over here, closer to Rate and Ladeco. So down here, there's a couple of wonderful places, but there's one place that's absolutely fantastic that's underrated at times. So out here, on this path down here, you see, you see this little smoke right here? There's a little bandit camp there. But also by that bandit camp, there's also a spawn point that happens, or a random event. And it happens quite a bit. So if you travel here from Ladeco going west, it won't spawn. Or I never had it spawn at all. But if you travel going from, you know, starting from west to east, going over here, you have a very high chance of this spawning out and it's absolutely fantastic. So usually what I like to do is that I like to ride out here, out of Rate, go down this road. There's another random encounter that happens sometimes, but usually I pass through here, go down, and try to make it spawn. And it spawns about 80% of the time, but it's easy to reset, because all you need to do, if it doesn't spawn, you just ride back here to this river, come back, and then you try it again. So, let's uh, go give it a try, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, first we're gonna need our horse, cause, um, you know, where's our horse? Oh, hey, how's it going, buddy? Um, how about you get down from there, and, um, y yeah, alright, devil horse. Yes, yeah, so once you get to this woodcutter's camp, you have another nice little random encounter that's coming up here, typically. Hey, look, logs! Know what you're made of. Yeah, I'm not interested in you guys. Those guys are broke. I don't care about them. You can just skip them and it's okay. Uh, the one thing I want to point out is that what you're looking for is that there's going to be two wayfarers that spawn pretty soon. So here's one wayfarer, and there's number two. So number two wayfarer, you just want to make a right, go straight down, and into these woods. And once you hit the road, you're just going to make a right. And let's see. Here we go. Here's the road. All right. Into the road, and you just want to ride down this road, just follow it along. And most of the time, it spawns. You have a nice little counter spawns. Oh, hey, look at this. It spawned up, and now we got guards versus cumans. Yeah. You can basically ride these guys down with your horse. If you ever get lost, just take your horse and um, ram people down. This is so easy to do. Because horses do lots of damage. Hey, archers, how's it going? Oh, you took a lot of damage there, huh? How about we do this again? Oh, no, he fell down. Oh, no. So... Good job. And, um, look at this. Oh, I'm sorry this, I couldn't save you, but you could just loot them. And they got lots of valuable stuff here. Um, why not? Just take it all. So your stuff belongs to me. Good job, gentlemen. And these guys are pretty broke, but you know what? I'll take their stuff. It, it doesn't matter. So take as much stuff as you want and enjoy. So usually what I like to do is... You know, because up in Scalage, you can only take so much, right? You can only put so much in your horse. There we go. So everything that you actually want to keep, I'll just throw on my horse. So anything that's of good value. Otherwise, it drop on the ground. Because out here is that you can come back and pick it up at any time. Because the stuff doesn't despawn. And there we go. You can drop it all down. And it's fine. So the easy way to make this people respawn again is that you just want to go down. Yeah. All the way down here. Just follow the road, we're going back all the way west down the road, and you're going to hit a bridge. And once you hit the bridge, you're free to go back. Usually you can pass this tree or whatever you want to do, but yeah, I usually like going to the bridge because it makes me feel better about life. So go back to the bridge, turn around, and let's go see if we can make these people respawn. 
and they didn't respawn this time, which is fine. So this is why I'm talking about like the 80% sure that it spawns all the time sort of thing. Uh, if not, just go back and try it again. And oh, look at that. We got more people spawned again. Great job. So it's bandits versus cumans this time. And the cumans don't usually stand a chance, and I love this. There you go. Down you go. And easy peasy. Now you get all the free stuff you want. Look, they killed other bandits, so there's even more good goods out here. So, oh god, this is ridiculous. Look at all this stuff. Sometimes like, you just walk away with so much goods, it's just... Oh, it's almost unfair. Like, the game's broken after this. You're... Like, why even bother with scallops anymore? You don't have to, because basically you can become a millionaire with a few days, like in-game days of just doing this. I mean, technically you got to sell it all, but oh god, Henry's, Henry's rich. Yeah, there we go. They just spawn out of nowhere. Isn't that fantastic? And look at that. Cumans versus bandits. Oh, jeez. We're going to have to help the cumans, aren't we? Yeah, you guys suck. Well, I never... Eh, you just ride across with the, your horse, and there you go. Wait, did a human run away? I need that armor. It's usually not valuable. Okay, so you're dead. So basically, you can fight a really... What the hell happened here? You are dead. Not a big surprise. I've fallen to my death? Alright, I took about everything I want so far. I dropped everything else, make it a nice little pile. <laughs> Here we go. So, there's a reason for this. Don't worry, we always have a reason. Alright, so after a little time of farming, I have quite a bit of items here. There's only so much I can carry. I mean, I love doing this so much. Like, this is absolutely one of my favorite things to actually do. And I love it so much that I just keep gaining levels out of it. I gotta kind of stop doing this a little bit. But the main thing is that you notice is that, you know, your horse can only carry so much weight. It's it's a problem. You kind of got to go back and do stuff. And you inevitably got to leave a lot of stuff behind. And um, right now you can see I did this so much. I kind of left a lot of stuff behind. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Yeah, this is not me freezing time. Henry's just learned how to use the Matrix. Um, oh god, this, I think I've overdone it. Um, so, these items don't, oh god, oh god, the game does not like this. So, we want to be able to take these items back, uh, so without them disappearing, because now, you know, I thought I could store this a little bit more, but my game is not liking this, so, yeah. You come near me, because Henry walking to you is going to be pretty bad, so... I have no idea what that was. So anyways, we're going to come back to this, and but we're going to have something special with this. We're going to have a cleanup crew take care of this, and oh my god, look at this game. Yeah. I'm riding away with it. My frame rate is chugging. <laughs> oh my god. Even this far away, like, they don't, it doesn't clean up the items, and I, I, I appreciate that the game does not do that, because I like being able to screw up the game a little bit, so, you know, Warhorse, please do not change a thing, because... You know, this is awesome. Like, I, I love being able to screw around the game. Usually, you don't screw around the game this much that it causes your frame rate to turn into a picture frame. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so what we're going to do is that we're going to let these guys fight each other, and then they're going to eventually fight each other, and then we'll let them... Oh, God. <laughs> what is going on? Um... <laughs> <laughs> what is this? They'll eventually fight each other. And then after they're done fighting each other, they're gonna start picking up some items. And oh, even the rabbit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's some people fighting. Oh, jeez. Oh, there you go. So look, one of the guys got tired and now he's just picking up stuff here. So my frame rate should improve quite a bit after he starts vacuuming up this stuff. Please. Please, Bandit. You don't want to get too close. Oh, there you go. Look at them. Look at them go. They got tired of trying to chase that guy who's mysteriously going into the distance. So, all right. Yeah, look at this. You guys are going to be happy. I, I need you to pick up all those items, and then um, I'll kill you guys, and I'll take those items. How long is this going to take before my frame rate improves? It is now 
Jeez, it's an hour later. He's still going. He just doesn't get tired. I admire his dedication. All right, it is about a little bit after midnight, so this guy's been pulling a... Uh, man, he's what, like a 10-hour shift? He's been going at it. I think you're about done, my good sir, right? That's uh, about... Oh, jeez, another shield. I wonder how much yeah. stuff you're going to have on you. Well, I never... Yeah. The pig turns up willingly. Are you able to run? Oh, no, he's not! Oh, look at that. He's not able to run. So, I mean, NPCs don't they don't really have a weight limit, but look at this. He's he's stuck. No, no, you're not allowed to get away. No, 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 chunky boy. All right, you've been out this for a while. You pretty much picked up everything off of there. How much do you actually have on you? Oh, my gooses. Wait, is there someone else around? Who are you? Hey. Well, no. <laughs> Who the heck are you? you? Just wander over here? <laughs> Give me that bandit ear. <laughs> he just wandered over here. You know what? Hand me all that stuff. Anyways, um, what's the most that was dropped out there? Um, so better hunting arrows, 60 hunting arrows, 24 patched. Oh, jeez, look how many is here. <laughs> Oh my god, this is this is quite a bit. And remember that they have different, you know, durability, so there's multiples of each. But um Yeah, let's take all of it. Oh my god. <laughs> my game did not like that. Uh how much was on you yourself? Oh, only only a spattering 5,000 uh <laughs> mass. All right. Um, I also need to pick up all this other, uh, stuff that's off these guys, because obviously it doesn't loot bodies. I'll take the trader stuff, because why not? But, um, yeah, I was out here doing this for a while. Ooh, traders, look at that. Gold chains, gold neck, my god, two, what is he, a rapper? So let's, uh, go back home. So obviously I can't get on my horse to, um, go back, you know, home to drop this off, because, you know, the deco is, uh, jeez, why are you doing that? The Dutch go is only right here, so all you have to do is right, walk back to the inn and drop off all this stuff here, so this shouldn't take too long. So how do you get incredibly rich? Well, <laughs> there's <laughs> there's a good way to do this. We're finally making it in home. Watch this uh, real quick. I'm going to open this up because I've been doing this for a little while, so that's the game lagging out. So this is what's inside the box already. Um... Yeah, I'm a bit of a kleptomaniac. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got 5,000 sitting here. So um, let me start moving all this stuff because it's going to take a little time. So yeah, we we got a lot of stuff. Um, let's see if we go by numbers. Um, Silver Spurs, we only got 54 of them. That's, jeez, we got 20. Oh my god. Um... Yeah, that's only worth a thousand right there. Silver rings. God, Henry's a rapper. Like, look at this. Jeez. But, um, I think everybody's kind of curious about how much um would m most of the, selling most of these items would be worth if I sold not just about everything. It's about a little over two hundred twenty thousand groschen. Not bad. Yeah, technically, Henry is the richest person in Bohemia right now. Like, we couldn't spend this money if we wanted to. So, good job, Henry. Alright, so we're gonna try something a little bit different today. We're gonna try to see if we can crash my computer. So I'm just gonna take all the items out of here. Just take all. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, even Henry. Yeah, it's only... 12, oh jeez, 12,000. <laughs> Wait, all right, whatever the mass they're using here. I don't know if they're using grams, kilograms, or, you know, pounds, or whatever else. Stones, or some mysterious unit. So, let's uh, take a look here, because every time I go back into my inventory, <laughs> it takes a second. But, um, so, let's uh, go start donating a bunch of things to these people, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, we got a lot of stuff. 
Uh, so here we go. We're just going to start with the items that we have the most of. Um, I got 454 bread rolls. Bread rolls are great because when you drop them, you don't have to drop them singly. You just drop a whole bunch all at the same time. So you get this wonderful effect of... Oh, you can see the <laughs> you can see the bread forming above Henry's. Oh, uh, this is destroying the system already. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh God, no. Oh God, no. Oh, there's so much bread. <laughs> oh, Henry. Oh God, there we go. It just needed to. There we go. So we got a mountain of bread here. Oh God, I love it so much. Um, yeah, let's go to food. Um, yeah, carrots are another good one. They, they work about the same. Apples, they're another good one. Uh, so is uh, onions. They're great. And, um, yeah, I love this position because you can see it right above Henry's head. And <laughs> the innkeeper is like, oh, no. <laughs> this guy is back. <laughs> oh, jeez. So this is... Oh, God. Henry's off the table. All right. A mountain of... Oh, God. I think the game's freaking out, too. Because look at him sitting. <laughs> He's lost everything. I mean, the one thing about when you start dropping the frame rate, people start doing some weird stuff. So, uh, let's go drop some beer for these, uh, great people. We'll drop some cabbages, and we'll drop some pears. Why not? Why not? Um, oh god, cabbages are great because they're huge. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> the frame rate does not like it. <laughs> Look at all the beer. <laughs> Beer's on the house, boys. <laughs> oh god. Um, oh, they're rolling. <laughs> <laughs> They're rolling everywhere. <laughs> oh, Henry doesn't like it. The game doesn't like it. Oh, but we're still moving, so this is okay. Alright, so we gotta keep going here. Let's see. I'm just dropping food right now. I haven't even got to the armor. Here, have some sausages and stuff. Sure. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, pretzels drop as a single item, but... Oh, that, that was kind of disappointing. The game is starting to... The game's starting to get the jitters. I like how Henry's hungry right now. Um... Yeah, Henry. <laughs> There's plenty of food for you, buddy. Oh, dried meat drops all eh, as different ones. Crackling's another good one. There you go. If I want to abuse the game, I'm going to drop a bunch of crackling on this. Give it a crackle. Oh, mushrooms. They're another good one. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I crashed it. <laughs> the game doesn't like it. All right, so let's try this again. So we are back here, <laughs> loaded back up, and we got the items here. Uh, boys, you know, I got lots of items for you, and I know you like them. So how about some really good stuff? How about some swords? How about some axes? There you go. Would you like daggers? There's 20 daggers for some reason. All right, how about this? Oh, God, there you go. <laughs> it's just a ball. <laughs> oh, God. Um... No, it's... My computer's doing all right for this. It seems like weapons are okay. They like to merge with a shield. This guy just... I love this. <laughs> He's just eating through his knee. All right, well, let's keep the good times rolling. How about we just drop, um... More masks coming up above, and we're still good, and... Oh, God. Oh, God, it's so slow. I'm just burying this guy in armor. Oh god, oh god, it's raining. Uh, don't try to sweep it away. Alright, <laughs> that was pretty rude. <laughs> yep, I think... I think the game's gonna survive. All the lockpicks in the world ain't gonna stop them. It's just like the vacuuming crew can just do as much as they want, so... Yeah, I mean, the graphics are coming in and out, but it's... It's holding out pretty well, I mean... Yeah, I think we kind of, um... Did as much as we could, so you could break, you could basically crash the game, but it looks like with this setup, you can, the game shouldn't crash from doing stupidity, having too many items out. Not unless you really do it all at once. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, it's just kind of a little bit insane. Uh, I know, but that's what I do here, so as long as you don't drop everything all at once, you should be fine, so, well, hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys around till next time. And look at all the villagers coming out here. <laughs> oh, jeez, Henry's like falling a little bit too. Good job. Oh, jeez, look at that rabbit. Oh my god, that, that rabbit can't even. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, that rabbit is um having some problems. See you, bunny. Yeah.
Well, that's another guy down. All right. You call that combat? What the hell happened here? I'll squash you like the louse you are. How am I? Got weak at the knees, have you? What the hell just happened? I just lost like 95 hit points out of nowhere. I'm lucky I'm running potions. I almost died again. Well, I never. Hey. Who the heck is? Take a little, take a little wiggle room. There you go. Give me that little. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 